G'day, Keithy here. Thank you for joining me again. Welcome back for another FIFO mining video. And this one, we're going to talk about something that you may or may not know a lot about. Superannuation. So what is superannuation all about? And what can you do to improve your superannuation situation? Watch on and find out. All right, so superannuation, superannuation let me get that right, basically, in a nutshell, is a contribution that, by law, your employer has to pay you uh, as essentially a retirement fund that you set up for yourself so that when you do retire, you're not relying on the government to provide you with a pension. Uh, there is so many superannuation funds out there, it's not funny. Um, look, I'll move over here a little bit and I'll show you. Just up here, there's a few of them. So there's plenty of options out there for superannuation. There's heaps of funds. Um, you know, I could sit here and rattle off a heap of names, but I'm not going to do that. You can go and Google them for yourself. Um, you probably got a super fund yourself if you do work in Australia and you're uh, you're making some super, getting ready for retirement in years to come. Now, superannuation can differ. All the funds are really different, but it also differs with age too. Um, superannu superannuation usually comes with an insurance um, type policy, I guess, um, that will protect you in the event of illness and whatnot. So your sick leave might cover a certain amount while you work and then you might transition over to the insurance and your superannuation should you require long-term um, sick or illness leave, whatever your company calls it, medical leave, could have a million names like that. So it's definitely worth checking that out in your super fund. Um, but not only that, super funds also come with other benefits now. I don't know if you know this, but you can actually manage the way that your superannuation is invested. So if I move over here again, this is just one super fund. As an example here, you can see that they've got quite a range of available options and investments, ways that you can invest your superannuation. So most of them have a standard type option that they'll put you in and um, it'll have a, a reasonable performance. It won't be negative, it won't be groundbreakingly positive. Uh, but one thing to remember with superannuation is the higher the risk, the worse you can fall, but the better you can climb. So if you're gonna play around with the um, high risk assets, I definitely recommend getting to know what the share market's all about and how that influences superannuation. But you'll see, let's go and have a look at an example here. We're gonna have a look at this one. So this one here, if you go through and see what they invest in, you can see that there's quite a range of investments from cash, fixed income, um, property securities, global and international, uh, national, let me get that right, national and global shares and hedged as well. So it's got a broad range of things that it's invested in. Now let's go down and we'll have a look at one that's a little bit more aggressive. We'll get into that. So you can see here, this one here invests quite heavily. In fact, about 82% odd in uh, shares, both Australian shares and global shares. So it's quite heavily based on what happens on the share market. And it also has other little options there, property securities and whatnot. So it's one of the, the heavy hitting type options you can do in your, in your superannuation that can um, potentially earn you quite a lot of money in your super. But again, if the market comes down hard, that one's based heavily on the market and what the market's doing. Um, you could also lose quite a lot of super if you were to be in the wrong place at the wrong time there. Now, most super funds also have a cash option, and um, generally, the cash option is a safe bet. So cash, it doesn't do these big waves like this. Generally, it's pretty steady. Some of them will, will go up slightly, and some of them, excuse me, won't go up um, a great deal. Definitely worth looking into that. So superannuation, why is it so important? You might think to yourself, okay, I'm, I'm young, I'm, I don't really care, you know, I'm not gonna retire for 40 years. Um, what does it really matter? Well, in 40 years time, what you do now can actually impact the outcome. 
when you're ready to retire, how much money you've got to retire, how much money you've got to play with. Um, again, if you're getting on to that, closer to that retirement age, um, superannuation, a big thing, because you're about to start using it, but the risk involved in your investments, you're gonna need to keep an eye on that because obviously you don't wanna go too crazy with your, uh, the risk there because you're about to start using that money, that superannuation money that you've um, you saved up over the years, you've accrued. So you want something that's gonna be stable. Uh, but if you've got a long time, you've got that ability to play a little bit more of a risky game. I definitely recommend looking at all of the options in your super fund and um, seeing what it's all about and deciding how you want to invest your superannuation, if you're comfortable doing that. I definitely recommend getting financial advice if you don't understand what all of it's about. Uh, definitely get someone to talk you through how all of those investments work uh, because it could potentially be the difference between not getting a lot of superannuation and not having a lot to play with when you're ready to retire and having quite a lot. Now, I've been watching my superannuation for years and years and years. I'm not going to show you my superannuation, but I can tell you, uh, since about 2008, 2009, I've been very heavily involved. So what's that? It's, this is about 12 years. Um, I've been taking very good notice of my super and <clears throat> I've been playing around with it. Uh, in the early days when my superannuation wasn't really that great. Um, you know, I, I took a risk and I played around with the market and, and had a look at what was um, what was happening and what each thing, how it, it performed. Uh, and I've found myself a position where I'm really, really happy with my superannuation and knowing uh, when to change my investment as well based on what's happening with the market. Uh, so that's another thing I'd really like to talk to you about as well. With superannuation, most superannuation um, options, investment options that you saw there before are based on what's happening on the share market, both locally and internationally as well. So what you might notice too, sometimes you look at your superannuation one week and the next week you'll go, hang on, I've just lost a little bit. I don't know what a little bit may be to you. It could be a $1,000, it could be $5,000. And you go, well, that's not the point of having superannuation. I've actually just lost some money. Um, and that's quite possible. When the market dives, like what happened when COVID hit, um, I don't think there were too many people who didn't lose superannuation. Um, you know, there were people who I work with who lost $50,000 out of their superannuation. Um, but just remember too, what goes down will come back uh, up eventually. Um, so don't need to make any rash decisions but if you're watching the market avidly and you're watching the share market news and all of the the industrial news and all of that kind of stuff it may play into your favor to be able to um, switch investments at the right time again i would definitely recommend getting financial advice if you're going to play around with your superannuation so what did you learn today Superannuation, there's so many funds out there to choose from. If you're just new to the game, you don't have to stick to whatever superannuation fund your employer uses. You need to talk to your employer. Obviously, there is an insurance component in your superannuation that may be associated with your line of work. Um, so some workplaces, you may still have to contribute to that particular super fund that they use. Um, but some, you might just have to contribute that insurance amount which is not going to be a lot and then the rest you can invest in another super fund if you're not happy with the fund that they use um, you can play around with that so it's heavily based on the market you have a choice definitely remember that do your research get financial advice so there are so many out there um, the world really is your oyster with that uh, and if you understand the market and the way that superannuation is invested and working um, then have a bit of a play around. You don't have to play much and, and most super funds will allow you to put a percentage in different options as well. So there's that. If you did want to play around but you didn't want to be too risky with it, you can put just a little bit in, in something a bit more um, risky and keep the safe option as the majority of your superannuation. You can change the way that it's invested. Um, you can change that the balance is invested in a certain way and what you contribute for you know, moving forwards for the future. A lot of options there. I hope I've um, opened your eyes a little bit if you didn't really understand superannuation. If you're really young, I recommend definitely get into it because you can make a squid 
uh, by playing around with your superannuation. If you're watching the market avidly, uh, definitely do that. And there's also a, a bit of good reading. If you've ever heard of the Barefoot Investor, definitely something worth reading. If, you, uh, if you're getting into the market and, and you want to learn how to dabble in, uh, in some things like that. Don't forget, guys, we've got the old Chilling with Keithy up there. I'll move over. The Chilling with Keithy up there on Facebook. So you'll see some um, in-between video stuff there. I put a few posts up every now and then. You can message me through that, and I will answer you for sure. And then down here, we've got the old Instagram, Keithy underscore wager. Thanks for letting me know about Instagram, guys. I mean, I've, I knew it was there, but I never really got into it. But because of you... I have an account now, so don't forget to go over there and follow me and, um, yeah, share my stories, share your stories. We'll have a good laugh and get to see some more content there too, mostly photo-based, I understand, Instagram, so I'll put photos when I'm up on trips and whatnot. You get to see what's going on there in between these videos. Stay safe, guys. We'll catch you next time. And uh, don't forget, have a look at your super, see what it's doing. And, um, you know, if you've got the time, why not even track it? Track your superannuation and see how it's performing. If you keep an eye on it, you can make up a little chart in um, Excel or something like that. You can you can track how your superannuation is going. And if you're unhappy with it, talk to somebody. You can make changes that'll that'll benefit you when you get close to retirement. Take care, guys. Talk to you next time.